guys so this recipe is a vanilla cake recipe and obviously i'm using taruna margarine and this beautiful mixer from adam b kitchen equipment so i'm scooping out 500 grams of taruna margarine taruna margarine is the best margarine for your baking like if you want to bake anything cakes pastries and all and you and you want it to come out looking very nice yummy you know clean and tasty because when it's not tasty your customers will not come back so we need it all to always be tasty and that is the reason why you should use taruna margarine i'm trying to get an exact 500 grams so that i don't over mix because you just want to get it exactly and that is the reason why it's better you always use a kitchen scale a kitchen scale is more accurate than a cup yes so that's 500 grams of taruda mandarin and i think i am good to go okay so in goes into my mixing bowl and the sugar so for the uh, recipe please kindly check the description box down below that is where you're going to get all the full recipe and don't forget to click the subscribe button very well you need to whip and whip and beat i think the word is beat you need to beat your taruna margarine properly and that way is definitely going to increase the volume and better still first mix the taruna margarine i like cream the margarine on its own before adding the sugar you know i decided to go the traditional method of putting sugar and water together and mix but the best way to even achieve even better results with taruna margarine is by simply beating the margarine well before adding the sugar and you still beat and beat and beat and get your mixers guys get your mixers from adam bay kitchen equipment can you see what the amazing thing this mixer has done for me the, the margarine and sugar looks amazing like it looks super 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 amazing yes so this is what your sugar and taruna margarine mixture should look like can you see it looks like whipping cream this is what it should look like before you be, you start adding the eggs if it doesn't look like this please do not add your eggs ensure it comes out like this can you see how done up it is can you see how stable it is see it's not dropping see it's not dropping it's not going off my spatula that is how amazing this is so when you beat to this consistency where you can you know turn it over flip it upside down and it is not dropping can you see i'm moving the skewer where the spatula sorry and you know is this nice then you know that you can start to add your eggs and you're also going to be adding your eggs one at a time fine you can crack all the eggs in the bowl before you begin to mix just to help fasten your mixing process but that does not mean that you will now add all the eggs at once no add your eggs one at a time so 
in goes that I'll cream open drop cream open drop This is what our vanilla cake mixture looks like but I'm going to be pouring this in one pan then in another bowl I want a little bit of marble action going on so that it's not going to be just plain vanilla so but I want plain vanilla in this pan I'm a vanilla kind of girl you know, I don't joke with my vanilla. I think that's good. When I fill my baking pan, I feel to just to third, to third of the pan. I ensure I don't exceed to third, so that the the cake batter has enough room to rise, to sit, you know, so that it comes out well. When you cram your baking pan it simply means you're not giving the cake enough room to rise so I don't like to crumb my baking pan I think I can add a little yes and that's about it for me so it's all of my pan The leveling of your cake starts from the pan. Yes. 
Okay, so I set that aside. Like I said, I want a little bit of marble action in the other pan. So I want a little bit of chocolate and vanilla in the other pan. And that's why I'm going to be doing a little bit, a little marble chocolate. In a little bit of chocolate cake, sorry. So I'm using melted, high grade melted chocolates. So this is chocolate that I've melted. This is chocolate that I've melted. And I'm just adding that to this batter. Going to be mixing that together. So I think I'm going to be adding all my melted chocolates. 